Lansdown Society is a charity in Dudley that supports people with learning disabilities. 2011 is the 25th anniversary. I am Neil Davis and I'm going to give you a tour of Langston Society. This is where it all started. Langston Road. Jane, Marlene, Linda, Iris, Sean and Judy, all live here. This is Jane. Show us around Jane. It's a kitchen. This is the kitchen, is it? It's the kitchen, yeah. And what have we got in the kitchen? We've got a cooker. Beef hot pot. Beef hot pot. And we made a crumble. And a crumble for a dessert. We've got milk. Yeah. Uh, scoops, juice, uh, yoghurts. What's your favourite bit of the garden, Jane? I like the flowers. Do you like the flowers? Wow, well, flipping it, it's heavy. Be careful then. I like keeping my handbags in my bedroom and all makeup and stuff, mm -hmm. perfumes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh. How cute. <laughs> Over here. So when oh, he went to Disneyland. Yes, he went to Disneyland and had his photos taken there. And that's Sean's brother in this picture. Is this your brother, Sean? Yeah. What's your brother's name? Bye. Now it's time for our next destination. Kirby Drive is part of the Dibdale project in Dudley. Here everyone is having a meal at the pub and discussing future social activities. Cephas helps to organise activities that anyone from Langston Society can enjoy. We have these meetings every four weeks uh, to discuss future events. So the clients themselves think about things that they'd like to do. We try to make those dreams come true, really. This is actually a planner of some of the activities that our clients have thought about and we've sort of managed to sort of put together. For example, we've got the Springvale Disco. This is an activity that takes part um, twice a month. We have a football activity every Monday. Um, the, the Dudley Leisure Centre, again something that the lads enjoy, we even have some of the, the ladies as well who play, they tend to enjoy the football as well, knocking the lads about, so. This is the disco that they planned weeks ago. Social activity thing. Um, activities that we do. It's a new thing, um, but it's proven very popular. Our numbers are growing quite rapidly. It, it's a bit of a su success story at the moment, and we're trying to sort of spread the word, let everybody know uh, what we're doing. Here, residents of Kirby Drive are enjoying an afternoon at the Gaines factory. When they are out in the community, they use their communication passports this for? Take it out sometimes, take it out. Down the, down the doctors or um, see. Dentist. The dentists. And what's he doing in those places? Show him. How does this help you? The pictures and the telephone numbers are. So when you want to call somebody, yeah. what do you do? Use the phone. You found them. Yeah, found them. <laughs> found them. <laughs> Well, they use it as a communication tool for the clients to be able to interact with each other. They use the pictures as, as prompts and reminders of things that they've done in the past. It tells you a little bit about the history about the client. Um, they use for different purposes, social reasons. When the staff come in to sit with you and say, what do you want to do next week? Yes. What do you do? Choose. Choose which ones you want to do. They also use pictorial shopping lists as well and that aids them to go shopping independently. The phone books are there in place so they're able to contact different numbers if the staff aren't around and that's been really useful. I have to look at pictures which I understand. 
So you find this a useful yes. tool for you, right? Yes. Where do you keep it? In my bag. All the time. Time, yes. This is the clear line. Lunch on the run is a catering service. But I'm Jean Pickett and I'm the manager of Lunch on the Run. Lunch on the Run is a social business, uh, registered charity. Been on Pens and Trade in the state for 15 years. Been actually the business has been running 18 years. Um, a catering business, training centre for people with learning disabilities. Uh, cafe on site, we do sandwich runs, deliver, deliver buffets of any size in all the Dudley Borough. So, what's the event you've got? It's a disco, we have usually twice a year. Hopefully, to get all the co workers and service users together to really have a good time, basically. So, they have a fish and chip supper, have a good dance, and have a really good evening, generally speaking. So, what else has been going on tonight? Tonight. Uh, raffle, raffle's always a good thing, they enjoy that, they like to win. Sometimes we try and do a day out if we can, we into Blackpool, Warsaw Illuminations, but this is the favourite, fish and chips and disco dancing. <laughs> Langston Society runs gap clubs for people to visit, play games and see their friends. Our gap clubs are very popular, lots of people visit them from all over Dudley. The staff are really friendly, uh, they do provide a fair, fair bit for us, which is like uh, snooker, table tennis, tea, coffee, unlimited, biscuits, bingo, raffle, and for £5 made, we're more than willing to pay that. We have an art and craft table for people that like to get creative. There's always someone who thinks they can sing. We have clubs. At Wren's Nest, Broly Hill, Stowbridge, Cosley and Dale Zoe. Oh, it's the main event coming on. It's the bingo and the raffle, so yeah, we'll be doing that in a minute. 2, 6, 26. 7 and 5, 75. And we win lots of fantastic prizes. This is Oakland's House in Stowbridge. At Oakland's, Jackie prepares tea while Alison sets the dinner table. They also have a rotor to follow so that everyone helps each other to do the housework. Uh, what's your lot today is Ali and Anne. Uh, Alan, yes, sorry. Uh, Tuesday, me and Ali. Done. Bon appetit. Jackie and Alison go to a drama group. Every week, where they rehearse for future shows. So, everybody build toys. Look at the fire and warm your hands. Warm your hands. And away we go. Dudley Voices for Choice and Community Support share the same office space. Atwood Street is in Ailes Owen. In July we had a fun day to celebrate the lives of people with learning disabilities and the work of Lanston Society. Lots of people came and joined in with competitions, stalls, games and a football match of, at the end. Paul is the Chief Executive of Lanston Society. 
it's, it's a very exciting time to be part of Langston Society. Um, it's a bit of a challenge in social care because we, we all know about the problems of public sector funding. And as we've grown over the years, we've developed and earned big contracts with social services. Today is a, a family fun day. It's what Langston Society is all about. Um, a day of celebration, activities. We've got the community support staff who are running a DVD, book and toy store. We've got Bill and he's organised a, a variety of games that people can take part in whatever their level of disability, that the emphasis is on fun and everybody being included. And I think this really sums up what the organisation is about. Um, relaxed, friendly, professional in the support that we give, but we're here for the people that we support. The support at Langston is brilliant. If it wasn't for them now, I want a, I want a bad mouth flat. This is the Retreat Cafe. The Retreat Community Cafe is part of Lunch on the Run. We're a lottery funded project that offers work experience opportunities for people with learning disabilities. And hopefully we'll continue for many more years. Here we can see David preparing food for his customers. What other kind of things do you make in here? Um, breakfast. Cheese and potato pie. Cheese and potato pie, potato potatoes. Every time you come in here, you have to wash your hands before you touch anything else. Oh if you have a fridge where all, everything is, like milk, eggs, or yogurt, cheese, and bacon, salad, something like that. <laughs> A different colour for every day. Yeah, I have a different colour for every day. This is the counter where you serve all the customers. How does it feel to work here? Mm, it's a chop. I got I meet a lot of friends. When I used to come here, I didn't know anybody, but now I do. In October, people from Langston Society and beyond came to a talent show. It was organised by Dudley Voices for Choice. I was the announcer for the show. Hello everybody, Dudley, Dudley Voice for Choice would like you, would like to welcome you to our showcase event. We are here to celebrate people with learning difficulties and show off our, our talent. Some people danced, some people played a musical instrument, and some people people sang songs. Uh, we decided to put the event together because Day services have changed so much, like quite recently over the last year, and there's lots of closures of day centres. And we just wanted to do something to showcase people with learning disabilities talents, basically. It's been great. I've enjoyed it. Where next? This is the Oracle Estate. These are the Priory Lane Estates. Gary loves his job. I work at BP Petrol Station. I do all the, well, do all the cleaning and all that, keep it all nice and tidy, and uh, trim all the bushes down, and keep keep the garden look nice, and the forecourt and the pumps. I'm a good worker. I love me. And Dawn also works hard in her job. I'm a clean. I like wiping all tables. I talk to all the customers, and they all say them. I'm really nice. The I Arco people meet up with Priory Lane to go to their social activities. This is Lanston Society's very own Robin Hood. And Gary is not the only one to have won awards. Pete and Jane are veterans of the Special Olympics. Let me win. If I can't win, let me be brave in my attempts. Earlier this year, P 
Pete achieved his dream of visiting Memphis, USA, the home of the rock and roll legend Elvis Presley. Because I want to stick like you, stick because stuck on you. Gaynor and Janet work at the Priory Lane and I Arkle. It's home from home, you know, it's like, just, just like having another family. And Lanston Road is the place where the society started and now they are going to be the first to move into the future. Seven specially built bungalows will be ready to move into by March 2012. As our residents get older, where we are at the moment in Langston Road, we've got all stairs, so obviously these are bungalows which are being built to help them be a bit more independent. There are kitchens, bathrooms, bedrooms and living rooms. We have now reached the end of our tour. I hope you have enjoyed seeing all of the different places and people that make Lanston Society a success. We look forward to another 25 years of success. Lanston Society, positive about learning disabilities.